across the create money orders. Why would you guys pay somebody for that? Now, hold on now. Hold on. Hold on. I'm about to answer my own question. Don't want you to answer this rhetorical. Because you don't know all of the angles and the aspects of a trust. So what did we do with the mega trust? Well, not only did we give you one trust, but we give you two trusts. And we give you control of your own trust. How do we do that? Well, because there are certain laws that prohibit, prevent you from having control of your own assets, we just incorporated the minor account, the minor estate, the infant estate, and the principles surrounding that. Ta-da! And there are other intricacies associated with the micro and the mega trust. Now, when I say nobody's done this before, and nobody's offered anything like this for what we're offering it for, and I know this, the things that we've included, Spencer's trust, the constructive trust, the express trust, <laughs> special relationship trust, we included all of that in one trust. Our first trust that we did was the fat pack, the original fat pack. That was almost 100 pages long. This one is about 54 pages long. We, we could have made it shorter, but the problem is we want to cover every angle. That's what we're doing. So are we going to teach you how to create a trust? No, we have that on the website. You can go do your own research on that. We are a trust company, Securities Acquisition Trust Commission. This was created for the infant estate. That's why this mega SAPAC is designed to help you get control of your infant estate. See, nobody else is doing that, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody's teaching you to go into Chapter 11 with all of your assets already in a trust where the fiduciary of the United States who's holding on to your property because all property is in the state and any individual so-called ownership is only by mere usury. Yeah, see, that's what we're doing for you. Can other people compete? They can try. But they haven't been doing this as long as I have, and they haven't been out thinking this as long as I have. I've thought about every angle. Now, some people are going to get a copy of our trust, and they're going to try to duplicate it. You can try, but there are other aspects of the trust you'll never see. There are other aspects of what we're doing that you'll never see because you don't need to know these things. These things have nothing to do with you or your trust, but they're there to protect you and your trust. I mean, trust me. All right. I'm tired. It's 8.45 p.m. Been up for a long time today, and this has been a really long day because I've been dealing with Amazon. And Amazon, um, Amazon, I've been hung up on at least eight times by these creatures. I am going to war with Amazon. I'm not just taking them to court. I am going to war with Amazon. Amazon wants to be a billionaire company. Well, let's see if they can handle me. I do like, wait did they get a load of me? I do like that. I like the statement, wait did they get a load of me? I've asked them, recorded the calls, told them, hey, I'm just trying to do this and trying to do that. And they, woo-wee, we're about to have some fun. Ladies and gentlemen, secure yourself in your trust. Now, hold on. Our secure and one property client. You already have your micro trust. Your micro trust doesn't include all of the elements of this micro trust, but it does include many of the elements of the micro trust. We're going to do you a favor on this video right here. Go ahead and create your own mega trust. Incorporate and install your micro trust in your mega trust. How do you do that? Just duplicate the micro trust and then add the other aspects that you heard me talk about at the beginning of the video. You'll figure out how to do it. See, we can't do it for you because that wasn't part of the program. We were trying to secure your property only. We weren't trying to secure you as far as the infant estate and Chapter 11. You can do the exact same thing. You are not restricted from that. You have a lot more going for you. I can't talk about all the things that you guys received in that program on this video because, look, other people will start doing it, and they will. all you guys got to do is understand what was given to you the documents that were given to you, okay? Understand what documentation is, what documentation means. Document everything, ladies and gentlemen. Documentation, documentation, documentation. Or as Maxine Waters said to me, documentation is everything. 
document, document, document everything. All right. Thank you guys for taking the time. Uh, the last two videos, last three videos, the system kept making a mistake. So I decided to put up the information because each time I say things, because these are on the fly videos, I am telling you guys this from the cuff. I don't practice this. That's why you don't see any retakes. You know how you watch other videos and you can see where they splice and cut and cut and splice? No, this is me letting you know this is information from me. This is not information of me reading a script. This is not me trying to polish things up so I could sound better to you or watch what I say. Y'all know me. What you see is what you get. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. Okay. I got to play that song. What you see is what you get. Okay. I got to I gotta get that song because I ain't played that in a long time. I've been, I've been doing something, y'all. Give me a second. I'm going to play one song on the way on out of here. Now, this is going to mess up their algorithm because they ain't going to like me playing this song. But I'm going to play this song because I played it earlier today. Where did I find that song at? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I might be missing the song. Hold on now. Nope, wasn't the Patrice Rashad one. Wasn't the Penny for Your Thoughts. I don't know what the... Wait, this is it. There are two songs here. Uh, let's see. Is this it? This is it right here. Okay. Y'all know this song, don't y'all? I know this song. I know this song. Ah! I've always loved this song. As long as you want me to. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's how we do things here on the Eon channel. We take you back. And this is what I was listening to in the car a moment ago, and I'll be listening to it again in the car um, tomorrow. But, ladies and gentlemen, I try to bring you guys what works. I don't bring you guys theory. You don't hear me talking about Oh yeah, you do this, you do that, and and you can create a uh, a uh, uh, this, and you can and you can just imagine that, and next thing you know, you'll be sitting in front of the court trying to tell them something. They'll be like putting you in a straitjacket and telling you crazy, and you need to get them out of their courtroom. We don't do that. I supply you with proof. So the last thing I'm going to say, this last thirty seconds, so less than thirty seconds, ladies and gentlemen, the courts must follow maxims. Stop using case citations. Use maxims of law. Because what you can't do with a maxim, you can't argue a maxim. A maxim is a fact. A maxim is a principle. A maxim is a foundational fact, a truth in law. You cannot argue that. They can't argue that. The courts can't argue that. Nobody can argue a maxim. Got to go. Y'all take care, okay?